Hi guys, how you doing? I hope you guys are doing good. I don't know what's happening today. Today has not just been a good filming day for me. It has been a good day in terms of lighting and stuff. But after I finished filming one particular video, the file was corrupt. I was about to edit it and realized that the file was corrupt. I can't even do anything with it. So I have moved on from that topic. I am here right now to gist you guys about something that happened to me recently and it has left me quite confused and i want to know from you guys if any of you can relate or can you know give me some kind of advice okay even though i have talked to my doctor and i know what i'm going to do next or what i think i should do next but i still want to hear from other women okay i want to know anecdotal <laughs> anecdotal evidence or anecdotal advice to see whether or not the path i want to take is actually the right path because this thing is actually weighing so heavily on me i just needed to come to my community my community a i just need to come here and let you guys know what is going on in my life and see if you guys can help me okay but before i get into all of that let me just give you guys a brief summary of all the things that led me to where i am today to this situation that i am in as at right now okay hi my name is adese i got married in 2011 and i battled infertility for a while and i had my first child in 2016 and after that i prevented pregnancy for one year and three months without any contraceptive or anything like that i was just you know preventing pregnancy the way most of us prevent pregnancy without anything okay so when my first child was one year and three months i went ahead to try for a second child and i got pregnant with my second daughter okay and after that i was done with having kids so six months after i went in and got an iud put in right i got an iud installed <laughs> so i got an iud installed and then one year and six months after the iod was installed the iod came out on its own very painfully i might add i thought i was going to die i thought someone was yanking out my womb and then the iod fell out okay and when i had iod i had very long and heavy periods my periods used to last from anywhere between 10 and 17 days okay the heaviness was at least 10 days and then after that maybe spotting for like five or six or seven more days like it was a lot so when the iud came out i was just like you know what i'm not ready to go through this anymore after all i had prevented pregnancy for a while without you know anything and it wasn't really easy for me to get pregnant before so i just felt like i mean what is a few months without iud like i can't i can't get pregnant i can't possibly get pregnant just like that wrong two months after my iud came out in fact one period after <laughs> after the first period the next period of my last period okay because i got pregnant with my third daughter okay it was a surprise pregnancy what did man go do now we carried the pregnancy i had her she's like one of the best things to ever happen to me in this life okay i love her with all my spirit soul and body you know but at the same time it wasn't planned right so after I had her, six weeks later, I said, I know I can't do this anymore. I'm not going to hear. I'm not going to take chances. So at my six weeks appointment after delivery, I got another IUD put in. Okay. The reason why I have been going for just the non-hormonal IUD is because it's non-hormonal. It, I didn't want anything that would obstruct with my hormones or start giving me pimples or acne or, you know, breakouts or, okay, that's all the same thing. Or, you know, hyperpigmentation or mood swings or, you know, hot flashes or whatever it is that you know hormonal things do to people i just do not want to have any of those side effects i don't want any patch okay i don't want any pills i'm not about to start taking pills every single day you know i know myself so i decided that the best option for me was to just go back to the iud after all i had a friend who had an iud put in and it's like over five years or something and it's still there so i was just like you know what let me try again maybe my first doctor didn't really know what she was doing because the woman did not even ask me any question i just told her i wanted iud she just said oh yeah go and lie down it was it was that straightforward she just asked me what are you here for i said i'm here to get an iud put in and she was like okay come and lie down she put it in bam and that was it okay so i just felt like maybe she didn't really put it well maybe she doesn't really know what she's doing let me go to my doctor who i know you know knows what she's doing like i trust her so much and she's the kind of person that asks you questions ready to listen to your questions will give you different alternatives and different scenarios and whatever you need she'll give you different alternatives okay basically she'll advise you and then it's left for what you now decide okay so i was like let me go to her i know she I'm, i trust her 100 percent. i know she knows what she's doing let her put another iud for me so i went to her and you know after we talked she put in another iud for me so tell me why one year and six months after that the iod came out again 
and this time as painful as the first time so the first time i started feeling intense cramps intense cramps and then the iud came out i felt like something was dislodged so i went and removed it okay this time i started having menstrual pain like a day before and i kept saying why am i having menstrual pain like i thought i have dealt with this i even made a whole video about how i dealt with you know menstrual pain and heavy pain and all of that what is going on why am i having menstrual pain again so i had that menstrual pain throughout the night i had it the next day so when i was now having my bath the next day i now felt the pain intensely again and this time i could feel it like literally coming out i was like feeling the thing moving 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 moving. I was like okay something is off i now put my hand in fact i squatted okay sorry tmi but you guys have, listen even if you're a man listen you need to know all these things because when you're telling your wife go and do contraception go and take this one know that these are the implications okay so <laughs> i now had to squat down put my hand and just try to bring out what because it was coming out anyway and now brought it out lo and behold it was my iud again wrapped up i'm sorry to say this i'm sorry to tell you guys this in graphic details okay but it was wrapped in a very huge clot of blood i even took pictures of it ew but it was wrapped in a huge clot of blood the same thing happened the last time it was like covered in a huge clot of blood like you just see the two irons sticking out and then the rope in between all the middle of the whole thing was just a huge clot of blood right so you can imagine how painful that thing is because it's coming it's like in fact let me never go into those details so anyway but it was really really painful for me and the iud came out a second time and i'm just like why is my own difference and why is it exactly one year and six months what is going on i went from literally trying to get pregnant to now being happy when i see my period what is it <laughs> <laughs> the lord is good anyway thank we thank god for that child but seriously it, it it stresses me out knowing that i might get pregnant again and i don't want to get pregnant again okay i know a lot of people are advising me oh go and try for a boy go and, eh, eh, i'm not interested that ship has sailed okay the ship sailed at ever's time as ever did not turn out to be a boy that ship of trying for a boy has actually sailed and it cannot come back okay so i don't want to get pregnant again i'm afraid of pregnancy that's to tell you how it how bad it is i'm afraid of pregnancy i don't even think i have recovered from eva's pregnancy and eva is my second child though in case you guys are mistaken it eva is actually my second child so if she did not turn out to be a boy and if i haven't recovered from her own pregnancy any other thing after that is actually not what i really want to start trying to to deal with right now okay again i'm very happy i got sophia she's like the cutest child ever 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 <laughs> she's my cutest child i don't know if it's because she's the last boy huh? that i feel that way about her but you know i like her a lot but i don't want another her it's enough <laughs> it's enough i don't want another baby i don't want another child i don't want another right now i don't want to give birth to another child myself that's my point okay maybe at some point i might adopt a child maybe at some point i might you know taking children as my own but for right now i don't want to get pregnant again i'm still trying to get my body back since since 2018 until date I'm, i don't know i don't know where i am i'm still floating okay so but that one aside aside the not trying to get pregnant part okay my one of my biggest fears now is the fact that this thing that is supposed to prevent pregnancy is it is it actually good for me because from when i talked to my doctor and i told her what was happening she told me that for me to be feeling cramps while it's coming out it means that my body is rejecting it okay it means that my body is actively my womb is actually actively ejecting it out of my system and when i asked her why she was like maybe my body is seen it as a foreign object okay of course it is a foreign object anyway so i understand what she's saying my, my body is basically seeing it as this thing is not supposed to be here so let me just get it out of my system okay human beings are different some people have it forever and ever until they literally have to go and remove it okay for some people but for people like me my body is the one saying i don't want this thing here i don't want it here because if i even think about it the prolonged periods and the heavy periods is actually my body crying it's my womb that is crying it's tears it's not blood it's tears you know it's my body that is crying for what has been put inside it so to be honest, I'm, I'm telling myself that, oh, I will still go back and have it another time. Maybe the last one year, I will still have it. But when I think about it, you know, more critically, I need to listen to my body. But I don't want to get pregnant. So, <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? Who, who can relate? Who is in my situation? Okay, so now, let me even tell you guys what my plan is for right now okay so my plan now is that i'm going to go back and get the hormonal iud okay the mirena and co the other one that she called you know i've forgotten the name i'm going back to get the hormonal 
IUD put in so that I will see if the hormonal IUD can actually reduce my period because most people who use hormonal IUD they reported having little to no period okay some people just have extensive spotting some people just have like a proper period but you know shorter and stuff like that and me that I have battled heavy long periods for almost all my life so before i had my iud installed i battled heavy and painful periods after i had my iud installed and you know with so many lifestyle changes what i now battle is heavy and long extended periods okay so i now said okay let me try the hormonal one and see if it will actually counter or battle or you know fix this heavy an extended period thing let me see if the non hormone if the hormonal one is going to work okay but at the same time why is my body rejecting this should i look for other means of contraceptive but which other means except my husband goes and gets a vasectomy which i'm going to bring up to him but except he does that which other means am i going to use they'll say oh, some people say oh use condom each time you do it oh use i beg i'm too old for that shit. <laughs> i'm too old for that yeah why, why would I be married and be using condom? Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Eh? Now that I'm free to do the thing anyhow I want to do it, I'm not going to be doing all these extra precautions. Like, why? No, I don't want to. I reject that notion. <laughs> I reject that notion. Okay, so what do I do? A lot of people actually say that they do the natural withdrawal method, you know, just tracking your ovulation and doing the withdrawal method. It did not work for me. I, my withdrawal method baby now is going to two years. should be two in December. Okay, it did not work for me. So I don't want to take chances with that because when I had Sophia, I know I've never really gone into details for that, but when I got pregnant with Sophia, okay, I did it before my ovulation date like i knew i did it just shortly after my period okay and it was way before my ovulation date and mind you that time it's not like none of my period is you know 14 days so i won't say oh on the 17th day i now no after my iud came out that time my period lasted for five days okay and on day seven or so day seven or eight was when i did it <laughs> and it was still withdrawal method and still i got pregnant so at this point i am not even sure when i ovulate anymore I don't, I'm not sure. Is it that I ovulate way earlier than I used to? Maybe I now ovulate on day 10 or day 11. Is it possible? I don't know. It's possible that maybe I now ovulate on day 10 or day 11. And I'm not ready to go and start tracking. So every month now, I'm going to be buying ovulation strip. Let me check. When am, I, when am I ovulating? When am I ovulating? Oh, okay. Let's do it. Oh, withdraw. Oh, let's use condom. Oh, this, no. Like, I'm, I don't want to do all that. Why am I even chatting to people? Say, since you people that did it to me. <laughs> as if it's your, it's your problem you know i don't want to do all that so this last time i had the pregnancy scale this is my last period before i got my last period which is like you know last week i had a huge pregnancy scare like i literally thought i was pregnant like hey you guys hi each one i've been there more you will see me like if you had looked for me in the land of the spirits you would have seen me there because i was so scared i was like god why god i beg god i'm your child god help me help me <laughs> this one they carry me go where i don't know god help me yo like i was literally praying to god that god let this let not let me not be pregnant the day i saw my period eh i danced like i did a happy eh, 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 eh. like yay like i was so excited that's to tell you how serious this thing is for me okay so as much as I don't want to get pregnant, I also want to enjoy my love life, please. I want to enjoy myself. I can't come at this age. Come on, be, now be trying to do all those. Eh, eh. So, so anyway, I think the whole point of this, my rant, is that I need you guys to tell me what you are doing and how it is working for you. Some people have told me, just do the withdrawal method. Like I said, my withdrawal method, baby, is going to two years in December. Uh, some people have said I should take um, natural things like I've got some of those herbs someone told me to take. I know myself. I won't take them. I, I won't. I, I know. I know myself. I might take it for the first one or two months. After, after that, is it that I'll slack or something will happen and I won't take them? Okay? I can't take pills. I'm not going to take it. I'm going to miss it. And I don't with the pills. When you miss, if you miss a day or so, I don't know how it works, but they said if you miss a day or so, you can actually get pregnant. So I won't do that. And I cannot go and be doing money after pill every time. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do money after pill every time. Like it's not even it's not even good. Okay, for, for, for those of you that try to for those of you that use money after pill as a form of contraceptive, it is actually dangerous for your body to be doing that. Emergency, yes, it's called, that's why it's called the emergency pill. Okay, plan B. 
okay that if plan a fails then plan b so you should have a plan a in in in, in place right so for me it's an emergency pill that you use for only for emergency it's not something i should be taking every day or taking every time you you do it as if it's food no okay so i'm not going to do that what am i not, am I not going to do i'm not going to do the patch i'm not going to do the patch so my two options now is to go back and do the iod i did before which was the non-hormonal one and just be changing it every year or every two years okay while the other option is to go for the non-hormonal iud but even my doctor told me that the hormonal one has you know a higher chance of coming out than the non-hormonal one so i don't know what to do at this point um let me know if you have other means of contraceptives aside the one that i've called now let me know if you have other means let me know what it is i'm not going to go and drink adjun or whatever concussion or i'm not going to drink all those things like I want I don't I want anything to enter my body. Let me be sure of the implications. I don't want to be taking all those things that if they kill this, if they kill that, if they do that, mm -mm, all those uh, generic medicine or medication. Eh, eh, I don't want. Okay, I want really targeted, specific drugs or or you know prophylactics that are made exactly for that purpose, not just anyhow, anyhow. Anyway, whatever I decide to do, I'm going to keep you guys posted. I'm going to give you guys an update. But yeah, that is what starts my life right now. This is what I'm going through right now. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys.